Hello, Nadine here, and today I'm going to be stamping on some acetate paper using some stays on opaque in cotton white to create a wedding card. So to get started, I, I use, this is um, Jenkins Embossable Window Plastic, which just basically is acetate paper. So to start, I'm going to put my acetate paper inside of my Misty. And I'm actually on one side of it, I'm just going to, because the acetate, I'm using a background stamp, which is a, I believe it's a 6x6, six six, so I can't use the typical magnetic things to hold the sheet down. I'm just going to do a little tiny bit of tape on there to hold it into place. And I had previously marked on my sheet, so I knew where it was supposed to go. And then just taking the stays on. And then just stamp up my stamp really well. And there we go. And a beautiful stamped image onto the acetate. Okay, now that that has had a few minutes to dry, it is completely smudge proof. So you're good to go. But I did. I took a piece of card base and using just a, a punch, this is one I've had forever by Martha Stewart, I just punched a decorative border on one side of the card, folded it down, and then this is just a, a pink piece of vellum that I'm going to put in there. I'm using my embossing resist powder, I'm going to use that onto the front of now using some Versamark, I'm just going to ink up my stamps. Some black embossing powder from Imagine. Then I'm just going to melt the embossing powder with a heat tool. Now just using some Tarot tape along the top edge of the card. Attach the vellum to the back of the acetate, preferably straight. <laughs> and there you go. Embellish it. And then you have a pretty wedding card. Thank you for watching. Visit imaginecrafts.com for even more inspiration.